when most of you are busy having good time in bus, we are busy in Martha's bedroom. You have heard statements that uh, the, the pastoralist communities have no numbers. And on that one, I want to say this. There are some community in this country who think that Kenya is their birthright, that this country belongs to them and only them. Today, I have a message for them that Kenya has moved on from 1963 to 2019, that other communities have gone to school. Other communities have had their strategies. And therefore, the notion that this country, the power, the economy, everything belongs to them is nothing but a myth. And that they are in a big slumberland and it is the high time they wake up. We are asking for our share in Kenya. We are not visitors, we are not guests. For your information, 70% of this country is occupied by the pastoral communities. And yet, the resources is going mostly to only 14%. We are aware that certain communities are started targeting the pastoral communities and doubting their existence. As has been said, you don't doubt our numbers because in every family we are eight. The person making noise the other day who, who says he is also another honorable has in his household has only two. In my household, I have six and counting. And yet you want to compare your numbers and my numbers. And this is two honorable Moses Kuria. He has two, I have six. He has nine, he has ten. And you still say that uh, we don't have the numbers. Bring it on. We are ready for you. We will not be cowed by the threats of none other than somebody like Moses Curia, whose region is invested with gigas. He has no numbers other than gigas in his constituency. The population census, which is forthcoming, you know very well. There's a scheme further to suggest that we don't have the numbers. I know it irritates many leaders, particularly those from central Kenya, when they see the leadership of the ASALs discuss issue of marginalization. And even so, the leadership of the country, because many at times I've come across where you mention marginalization, people saying that has been addressed uh, by resource allocation through devolution. Marginalization is not a switch that can be just turned off. It is a state of underdevelopment accruing over 50 years of neglect by successive governments in Kenya. It can only be addressed through deliberate, sustained resource allocation for purposes of making sure inequalities of the past are properly addressed in a planned manner. Thank you.